A new Kirby is on the horizon. Let's make invincibility candy, a treat for friends. First, a safety warning. Cooking with sugar can burn real bad, so be careful. Kids shouldn't do it without adult supervision. Don't touch the sugar once it's cooking. It's like hot lava. No, seriously, I've been burned myself and it hurts a lot. They call it kitchen napalm for a reason. You've been warned! Alright, since sugar is sticky stuff, oil up everything. Two Silpat lined baking sheets, your saucepan, and a measuring cup. Now in your saucepan, play sugar, water, corn syrup, and butter. Place it on top of a cast iron skillet on top of a burner. It's kind of weird to do this, but it does help the sugar heat evenly. Alton Brown does it, so I do it too. Once it's boiling, carefully place a candy thermometer in it and cook it until it reaches 270 degrees. Be careful, I can't stress this. Don't touch it! Once it hits 270, Pour it into your measuring cup, carefully, then pour half of it into one silpat sheet and the other half into another. Again, carefully, heed my warning, it hurts. Alright, half of your sugar gets white gel color, the other half gets strawberry drink mix. No need to stir it in because once it cools down after 5-10 to 10 minutes, we're gonna pull it. Alright, grease your hands with oil, and then start to fold the sugar into itself. If it's still being difficult, let it rest another few minutes. Pull it over and over like this. We're basically making taffy. Don't stop until it's glossy and your arm is super sore. It's a real workout! Alright, when you're done, place it back on the grease sheet. Now your other candy has set up, but that's okay. Place it in a bowl and microwave it for about 4 seconds. No longer! Then you can pull it like before. Take out all that stress you got from those online haters who can't understand your cool treats. When you're done, roll it out into logs. If ever your taffy sets up on you, Place it in the microwave for about 2 seconds at a time until it's pliable. Don't ever do it though or it'll get chalky. Alright, now roll each log together using your Play-Doh skills and cut it into 6 inch strips. Then, you can make pretty swirls, like this! Now sandwich a lollipop stick between two pieces, and then let them cool in a dry place. Check out these amazing lollies! Out of my way, haters! I mean vincible! Yummy! If you like that, check out this video, I think you'll dig it. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit me up on social media, I'm more than happy to chat. If you want to help me produce more videos, consider becoming a pal on Patreon, or shop on Amazon using the link in the video description. Until next time, take it easy folks.